Hi, John here. In this video, I will explain how I use Hyros for my business. Basically, what is Hyros? Hyros is third-party tracking software, right? And, well, I never used any third-party tracking softwares till Facebook hit me with US 14 change, you know? Since Facebook now is like a complete fakery and tons of data in Ads Manager are completely made up, you know? which I don't know why a lot of people don't even know about. Since then, I started using Hyros, you know? And you can even see how Facebook is actually faking numbers from my last video where I, you know, talk about why you should not using automated rules after ES14 for ads. Well, basically, since Facebook is really like faking numbers, you know, and saying that sometimes ads had converted twice, you know, it converted once, or sometimes I have like two conversions, Facebook sees yo, or it's completely faking at two cards. Well, since then I use Hyros because it's the only way how I know like proper numbers, okay? Because Hyros really is uh, connected with Facebook, connected with Shopify, Commerce HQ, it use UTM numbers. So basically it's tracking like all data, you know, or like multiple fronts, right? So I basically see exactly what ads had converted, you know, how much it made, you know, and all that, right? So without hires, I would not be able to do a couple of things. And <laughs> these are like super important, you know, when you're running like huge budgets and doing product tests and all that. So let's say if you are running like some product tests, you know, and you don't know what ads had converted or what ads had not converted, you know, then you don't know how to scale, for example, your product next day to know if it's really a winner or what ad sets to stop, okay? You will not know what audiences worked for that product and what not. So you are basically running blind. And problem is that if you are testing your product, you need to know exactly what converted first day, second day, third day, you know, four day. If you don't know that, you don't know what to push and it's possible that you will kill a perfectly good product that would normally work, okay? So this is like a first major thing. If you are looking for new products, and you are following just Facebook Ads Manager, you are going to be a big trouble because you will probably burn a lot of opportunities, okay? Which is really like stupid because you are every day spending money on it, you know? You want to find products so you can push it, but because you follow only Facebook numbers, you will not see the light, you know? And you will not be able to push it because you are blind. Second thing is, and that's probably even like more important and more dangerous situation is that when you are scanning, right? So let's say that if you are running like ABO, you have smaller budget ad sets, you know, $20, $50 per day ad sets. You have 1,000 of them, okay? Yeah, and well, if you never been in like a nightmare, you know, then this is a nightmare, okay? Because if you have 1,000 active ad sets, you know, and you don't know which one is like uh, running with fake numbers from Facebook, which one is real numbers, you are here for a ride, you know, because Every of these ad sets, if you don't manage them properly, it can burn a huge chunk of your profit every day, you know? It's dangerous when you have thousands of them and let's imagine that each of them will give you bad numbers and you will switch it off two dollars later than you should. So that immediately you will burn one thousand dollars, you know? So <laughs> it's like a suicide, you know? Uh, that's like not a good idea, you know? And I already feel like fear inside of me when I think about it because I do that, you know, I run this kind of like ad sets. So with Hyros, I know exactly what ad set converted and what ad set not, so I can switch them off. But with without the Hyros, I would be like completely blind, you know, and in danger, okay? So I use Hyros. There are like some other third-party softwares as well. I just used Hyros because, well, when I was like looking for third-party software, people told me that Hyros is only one that have like a real-time data tracking, right? So I am like a dropshipper and I basically want to make decisions immediately. So I need to see those numbers there immediately. So if I see that someone is converting, maybe I want to dupe it, okay? And I want to see it immediately. I don't want to wait like three days for numbers to show, you know, so I can make decision if I will increase it or not. So that's why I'm with Hyros, because I heard that, for example, Wicked Reports, it take them like 24, 48 hours to show numbers, which is like a not good for me because I don't need to like react in like a couple hours, you know, after that conversion. You know, basically every day I push my ad sets, every day I scale them, 
every other duplicate, you know. So for me, it was like obvious decision, okay? Let me explain you why Harris is great on this campaign. Basically here, I yesterday tested a product, okay? So most of the time use Harris for product testing and for product scanning, right? Which you need to know what ad sets convert in. And especially me, when I have like small budget ad sets, right? So here, when you can see this, you know, Facebook basically says that this campaign, you know, this product test, I was running on like a seven ad sets and all of them had like $20 budget and it ended up 0.90 ROS. So normally you would assume, you know, that this was a shitty test, you know, and you should definitely not test it for a second day and you should immediately kill it, right? Is it really, you know, 0.9 ROS? Is it really true? Let's see what Haros thinks. So basically Haros says that this campaign ended up 2.25, you know, which is a different you know, result than 0.9. This is what I'm talking about, right? So, so let's just highlight which one actually Facebook guessed correctly. This one, he completely misses two of these conversions and actually this one. So basically from 11 conversions, Facebook actually saw six conversions, right? And like here, they didn't see it, uh, they didn't see this and they didn't see this one which is definitely like not cool because that would mean that if I would use like any rule or whatever, you know, and I would follow only Facebook data, I would kill tons of different, you know, ad sets, which were actually great and which actually made money, you know. That's why you need something like Hyros because Hyros will immediately tell me, you know, in this ads manager without looking anywhere. I mean, I can look even in their website where I see like more detailed reports, but they will immediately tell me, you know, by looking at this ads manager with their Chrome extension that this ad is converted, this ad is converted and this is not, okay? And this is what is important for me because I'm a dropshipper and I react, you know, like very quick, right? So if I see something is working, I dupe it, okay? If I see something is not working, I need to immediately switch it off, okay? Because if I'm running like ad sets, they're like $150, $100, I need to like react fast, okay? Or they are burning a lot of money. And this is actually great because here I'm really like saving tons of time because normally I would need to go let's say in their app, you know, and then I would need to search for those ad sets and then come back and turn them off, right? But I can do it here because they have the Chrome extension that is connected, you know? So basically I don't need to go anywhere else. I can just switch on this extension and from that moment, I literally like uh, see everything, right? This thing will save you so much more time because then you can just go, you know, like, and highlight this one, this one, you know, based on data and you can switch them off, you know, immediately or like dupe them immediately, okay? This is a game changer for people who are running ads, you know, on like some higher level because I don't really understand how people can even like survive in this post US 14, you know, era without any third party tracking software and if they are like trusting, you know, Facebook. And this store, this store has best possible connection to Shopify, right? Here, Facebook is directly connected to Shopify app, you know? So it's getting most data as it can even get, okay? And it still misses like tons of them, okay? So it's basically connected on conversion API. It's literally directly connected in apps with Shopify. So Facebook should see more data than on any other platform, right? Because they literally have Shopify app connected to Facebook app, okay? And it's still, you know, like that they see, you know, just like a six conversions from 11, which is like, it's a joke, okay? Because I need to make decisions. So you can really like play with this, okay? And if you don't want to use it and manage only everything in Facebook, you can just go to their, you know, like website. And this is that yesterday campaign. So I can immediately see, you know, here, ad sets and all details, you know? And it basically like, knows exactly what converted, what ad set, you know, how much it made money, how much was profit and all that, you know. Then I can switch ad sets off even here, you know, in Hyros. I can just like change this, you know, to post, you know, and upload it, okay. And I can even increase budget and all that, you know. So with this, you know, you are not blind anymore, you know. So if you are running some bigger, you know, promotion and 
<laughs> I, I, I cannot even like imagine that people who are spending at least like a like five hundred dollars or one thousand dollars per day, ten thousand dollars per day are still running like based on Facebook data. You know, just imagine that somebody is managing ads. You know, literally based on Facebook numbers. You know, it's brutal. You know, I mean. They really play with numbers. They completely like faking everything, you know. They're literally like guess numbers now. Because since it is 14, they don't see tons of like Apple numbers, right? So basically they have like holes, you know, in their data and they need to like patch it with like some guesses, okay? So there is like nothing strategic about this and it's pretty much gambling because you are making decisions based on fake data, right? So even if you are not making like huge money, you still need to invest in third party tracking software like that. Okay. Otherwise you will not be able even to test. Okay. Because every test you will do, it will look weird. It will look fake. You know, you will need to like invest in something like that. Okay. It's not just Hyros. I think there are like uh, five or six other apps that do similar thing. I think second one is like a wicked report. I registered with Hyros because I heard that Hyros is only one that have like real data tracking, you know, which I need because like I said, I'm dropshipper. I need to react when something is working or not working like really fast. You know, I cannot like wait 48 hours for data to stop assets or 48 hours to get data so I can dupe assets or increase budgets. Okay. I need to react immediately. That's why I went with Hyros because because people say that these are like the best, you know, and I think even like other like huge marketers use them like Frank Kern, you know, and Dan Henry and all that. I just went with Hyros. I think they are like really like, great, you know, they have also like great customer support. They even like help me with everything to like set up everything. They literally like message me every day, you know, like and ask me, you know, if everything is great. So if you want to like try some third party tracking software, you know, because Facebook is obviously like lying to, then I think like go with Hyros because I think they are just the best, you know, and they have like great customer support. So you will not be like completely lost, you know, when you will need to connect your stores, you know, and I connected to Hyros basically my ClickFunnels account, my Shopify account and my Commerce HQ account. Okay. If you can just get Hyros, I think they have like 90 day trial. I mean, you still need to pay them in front but they will give it to you back if you will not be happy with that. So yeah, definitely try Hyros. I'm using it, you know, and basically everybody I know is using it as well. Okay. So with Hyros, you will be fine. You can even try the wicked reports. I just don't know how it is with the real time tracking, you know, because I just think it's like a big deal, you know, for like dropshippers, you know, or like people who are like doing that performance marketing, when you really need to know immediately what converted and what not. Okay. So thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next video. And also, if you still didn't buy my book, you know, Dropshipper's Guide to Bloodproof Success and you want to know like 87 lessons that will help you to get through first year of like dropshipping, you know, and basically 87 lessons that helped me to get from zero to like eight figures, then definitely get that book, okay? And you can get it at johnkubica.com slash book, okay? So thank you very much for watching this video and I will see you in the next one. Bye.